Okay, so you may have seen my video on understanding layers in Photoshop and I'm going to show you here how you can actually take a bit from another photograph and put it into here. So this is my photograph that I've got which happens to be in London, Fitzroy Square and I have another photo up here. I'm just going to click on this tab at the top which is the Eiffel Tower and you can see I've already got it selected. You can see the dashed line or sometimes people call it the crawling ants going around here. I'm now going to copy this and put it into the next one. So just going to edit copy. I can do command C or control C depending on whether you're using a Mac or Windows. Windows is control, Mac is command. I could have used right click as well. I'm now going to go back here just click on the tab at the top and I can use the control keys again or command and I'm just going to go paste and that pops that in here and then I can just simply click and drag to move it around but importantly it's created another layer here and every time I paste into here it creates another layer so I can now switch that layer on and off so if I didn't quite like what I've done and I've then take another bit I can take it here now the great thing about layers is that I can actually take something out of here so erase this bit here without affecting the background image so I'm going to go to the eraser just here on the left hand side and and by the way you might have your toolboxes and that in a different place but you can see I just erased that bit without interfering with anything with that background image. You can move this around, so as I did when I first put it in here. I can go into Edit and choose my Transform, so I can go Transform Scale, I could do Free Transform, or any of the others. So I can actually just click and drag on one of those corners just to move it wherever I want it. And if you're used to using the transform, you'll know you can rotate it and you can also do other things such as skew it, distort perspective and rotate. So I could do rotate here and put it like that. Not that I would do that for this particular image, but that is how a layer is created when you just copy and paste from one image into another. I have other tutorials showing you how to add texts and shapes and adjustment layers in there as well. The links are either on my Jargon Free help page or below this video if you're watching on YouTube.